Good morning. We are following breaking news out of Cape Coral. Horrible news. A two-year-old boy killed by the family dog. It happened this morning at a home along the 200 block of Southeast 45th Terrace. And now we're learning the family's dogs are in the custody of animal control. That's where we find NBC2's Kelly Cresswell. Kelly. Well, yes, the two family dogs are here at Lee County Animal Services. Now we're told that a male Weinerheimer bit the two-year-old boy around 7.40 this morning. Ambulance has brought that little boy to Cape Coral Hospital where he was pronounced dead. Now, as you can imagine, it's a very sad morning for this Cape Coral family. Instead of celebrating the holiday just days away, now they'll be mourning the loss of their two-year-old son. Now, family, family members all met at the house this morning, and you can see the grandmother here in shock and in disbelief as she tells the news to neighbors. Now, the grandmother tells me the little boy just turned two years old on December 11th, and the parents also have a nine-month-old girl. Now, neighbors say they would always see the couple out walking the dogs, and the dogs were always very controlled. And neighbors say they would even see the father get on a skateboard and put the dog on a leash and pull him around the neighborhood. Now, the couple had two Weinerimers, and Lee County Animal Services says no matter what kind of dogs you have, dogs have teeth and they can bite. It's really difficult to say um, that a dog wouldn't be able to do some type of an attack because put in different situations, dogs can react instinctively. And we don't know if the dogs will be put down, but Lee County Animal Services tells me that the owners do have a right to their property and the dogs are their property. However, Lee County Animal Services also has to uh, make sure that the public is safe as well, and that will all uh, determine whether or not the, the outcome of this investigation. But again, a very sad morning for this Cape Coral family. We're live in Lee County. Kelly Creswell, NBC2.